Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will try to make a complete home automation system using this tiny ESP32 C3 board to control four appliances with Blink IoT, IR Remote, and also with the manual switches. And we will also connect the DST11 sensor to monitor the room temperature. So this is a complete home automation system. We have already made it using Do It ESP32 DevKit V1 development board. But in this video, we will try to make this complete system using this tiny ESP32 C3 board from Shao series. And apart from that, we will also discuss some useful features the pinout diagram of this tiny ESP32 C3 board and how we can program this ESP32 C3 using Adreno ID for any IoT platform. So without any further delay, let's get started. This is the ESP32 C3 development board from the Seed Studio Sau series and you can see the size is pretty small compared to any other ESP32 development board and under the SAW series you will get a lot of different tiny development board with different chipset and for this project we will use this ESP32 C3 development board and you can get it under $5 so the price is very reasonable and I will also share the purchase link in the description this is the complete pinout diagram of this ESP32 C3 board and again I will share this link in the description and you will find a boot button and a reset button on the top and you can also connect a battery with this microcontroller it has inbuilt battery charger and there is also a indicator LED for the battery charger if you go through this page you will get all the details about this ESP32 C3 development board and you need a C-type cable to program this microcontroller now let's jump to our project using ESP32 C3 development board. This is our circuit and here you can see I have used all the available GPIO pins of the ESP32 C3 development board and here I have used last switch to control the relays manually and these switches are connected across the GPIO pins and the ground pin and here I have given a 5 volt supply for the development board, relay module and the sensor. Here you can see I have made a complete circuit on the breadboard but I will recommend you to make this type of circuit on the zero PCB to avoid any loose connection and this is the ESP32 C3 board and I have also connected the antenna with the development board and this is the latch switch you can see connected with the ESP32 GPIO and this is the control pins of the relay module again connected with the GPIO pin and these are the AC lamps you can see these lamps are connected with the relay module so the circuit is very simple and this is the dst 11 sensor and the IR receiver and we can control these lamps with a manual switch blink IoT platform and also with the IR remote now before programming the microcontroller let me quickly configure the blink IoT cloud for that I will go to template as I said, I have already made this project using the Do It ESP32 Dev Kit development board. So I will use this template. So you can refer my previous video. I have made this complete template during that video. So I am going to use the same template. So let me go to the data stream. So here you can see I have created total 7 data stream. And I have also defined some automation. Again, please refer my previous video. You can find the link in the description and this is the web dashboard so our template is ready we will use the same template to add device in blink so let me go to the my device now here i will select new device then select from template here i will select the template in my case esp32 automation you can also give the name of the device let me give esp32 c3 now i will click on create now let me go to the device info and here we need these details to program the microcontroller. This is the source code for this project. You can download this code from our website iotcircuithub.com. You can find a link in the description then you can download this source code from this button. Now let me open this code. Before programming the ESP32 C3 microcontroller, first we have to install the latest ESP32 board in Arduino IDE. For that, we have to update the preference URL. So let me copy this preference URL. You 
can copy it from here or i will also share the url in the description then go to file then select preference and here you have to update the url you have just copied then click on copy after that go to tools then select the board then select board manager then here search for esp32 and from here you have to update the latest esp32 board in my case i have installed a 2.0.5 version of the esp32 board after installing the esp32 board again go to tools then under the board select esp32 arduino and here you have to scroll down to find the show esp32 c3 so here you can see you have to select this show esp32 c3 board now again if i go to tools in the board you can see show esp32 c3 board selected in the code first we have to update the template id device name and the authentication token so i will just copy it from the blink account then here i will paste it and here i have mentioned the wi-fi name and the wi-fi password and these are the hex code of the i remote buttons so if you go through the code you can easily understand and i have already explained this code in my previous project so if you refer the same circuit you just need to update these details then go to tools select the port and we have already selected the board here you can see show esp32 c3 now hit the upload button here you can see i have given the 5 volt supply to the circuit and this led is glowing which indicates now it is connected with the blink server so in the blink id app i will select the device esp32 c3 and you can see the dashboard and you can also monitor the temperature and the humidity reading from the dst11 sensor and during my previous project i have already created this dashboard in this project i am using the same template and dashboard so for any details related to template and dashboard please refer my previous project link is in description so first let me try to control the appliances with the blink iot app i can use this button to turn off all appliances together now let me use the manual switch and now let me use the i remote i can use this button to turn off all the lamps together and i can use these buttons to turn on the lamps one by one so you can see i can control the appliances with the blink iot app i remote and also with the manual switches let me turn on the first two lamp now if i turn off the complete supply you can see i have turned off the complete supply now let me turn on the supply again the appliances should automatically turn on according to the previous states you can see and it is also connected with the blink automatically as you can see the led start glowing so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos Thank you for watching, have a great day.